want to know Neo's true name? Do you want to know what got Roman started on a life of crime? Well, today you are in the right place. Good day, everybody. It is Co-Accident Hunter here. Hunter who did not know that I was going to open like that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe for more Ruby videos. Join our Discord server to talk about Ruby with us. The link is working again. And thank you to all the patrons and YouTube membership members who support videos like these. If you want some cool rewards while also supporting the channel directly, uh, you can check that out. Link is in the description. And today on Kalaxon's Royal Court, today we are going to be talking about the Roman Holiday Book, or at least the 32, but not actually 32, like it's 32 minus 6, because like the yeah. first six pages of the book mm -hmm. are just like chapter list and like index and the pages or something. seem very so, small, like smaller than yeah. they should be. So like a 20 pages, and so we have the Roman half, like we have a Roman yes. chapter, and then we also have a Neo chapter, so and that's what we're going to be Roman talking about. And it's both Neo introduction chapters. I also like how... You can't find this on, like, these sample pages yeah. on any You can't find them on Google or Amazon. They're secretly in Apple books. <laughs> I just love so how Amazon released them, but... that this was the title of the new book, and then Apple released the chapters. Or so you should say like... Amazon. Yeah, Amazon released, released or, book. like, leaked. Jeff Bezos leaked the book. And then... It's just, like, major well, tech it's companies not a leak, are screwing though. It's a sample. With... It's supposed to intrigue you to buy it. Is. Like, this is on purpose, okay? But it is weird that they're the only one So you can go it. read it if you you want but we're gonna give you some of our highlights but first yes. we need to talk about Roman because I need to tease you to get you to watch this video all the way through about Neo and her true identity and stuff so we're not gonna talk about that first we're actually gonna talk about Roman first. despite Roman is the second <laughs> exactly chapter. and so like I was like oh man it's Roman bro it's, it's really cool how they're gonna be doing like alternating chapters mm -hmm. so he's actually in Mistral and they bring back Miss Malachite and all this yes. stuff I think that that's actually like mm -hmm. really cool and he's like 18 like this is before mm -hmm. he was like i mean he's still pretty jaded like don't get me wrong he's like in these chapters cynical. he's pretty jaded but like this he is before a, he was like a jaded adult like, he has you know, a whole long monologue about how like you can't trust anybody yeah. i trusted once and it bit me in the ass exactly so yeah he, he still and is like, but obviously like there's yeah. something that i thought was very interesting not to jump around but at the end of his chapter kind of like near the end mm -hmm. anyway he's like you know like you can't depend on anyone mm -hmm. like it like you can't like anybody is a liability like anyone else is a liability you can't depend on anyone it's a waste of time you know like all that sort of stuff obviously that's changing right so that's like we can predict that roman's um, yeah. character arc is getting yeah. the fuck over it because we're not his like is... i don't trust any of you bitches yeah. except for my five Maybe. foot one he's like, now he knows to watch Best for friend. himself Right, so he's talking, like, you know, I'm talking about Roman. But he says, anything else was a weakness. Anyone else was a liability. But clearly with Neo, like, that's changing, right? Yes. Like, that's not. So I think that that's, mm -hmm. like, Roman, he's going to learn things, okay? Uh, and so, yeah, so there's, like, a lot of interesting things thrown in. Apparently there's this, like, singer who's at the bar who's called, like, Honey Wine or something, and she may have a semblance that, like, intoxicates and, like, manipulates people voice? so they can, like, I guess steal from the patrons yeah. there. Or maybe she gets tips. Maybe they're tipping more. You know, maybe they're giving her a bunch of, like, hundred dollar super chats when they would only give, like, super five. Chats. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wow, know, maybe you're they're gonna tipping go to, more You're gonna go to the strip club sense. and be like, where do I send the, where do I send <laughs> The bitch. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. So maybe that's it. I, I was it. I don't remember. Maybe it was in the chapter, and I just forgot. But it's like instructions unclear. I don't know how they get the money. You know what I mean? I don't know if they pickpocket the patrons because later they say Roman, you're stealing from the patrons, which means you're stealing from Miss Malachite. But that could mean like, do they pick the patrons' pockets, or the patrons don't have enough money to tip the girl who is singing? Mm -hmm. Therefore, mm -hmm. the money does not go into like the establishment, mm -hmm. right? And there's apparently if you're robbing them, legal... we're not robbing exactly. them. Exactly. So there's like. Uh, either way, they're kind of robbing them. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like whether the girl it's is either you're them, drugged right? and robbed or assaulted and exactly. robbed. Exactly. Like really, it's either or, right? And so yeah, I thought that that was great. Apparently, there's illegal gambling in the basement, right? Uh, like there's just like a lot of like interesting like uh, things about Mistral. <laughs> Mistral world building in 2021. Like oh my god. And also, like, I suspect he's immediately gonna leave right oh, after Oh yeah, I mean these. he's gonna leave soon. But like they drop like a lion heart reference like it's yeah. like you know i think we're gonna find out a lot about mistral still even mm -hmm. though he's probably like leaving soon because you would think that he goes to bail and then maybe he goes back to mistral mm -hmm. like maybe i don't know 
don't know, I don't know, right? And so, like, it could be, like, you know, a way to get that world building that we didn't get before. But we do get some, like, veil world building, too, kind of, like, in little the Neo set. Like, a little, little a sprinkle. Little uh, no pun intended. But you can imagine that that's where it's going, that we're going to get more veil stuff. And I think that's nice, because those are the two places where in the show we didn't really spend a lot of time yeah. getting to know that much. Like, yeah. yeah, like, we were in veil for three volumes, but that wasn't really veil. That was, like, the best we can do with literally, like, a paper bag as a budget. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like with this one golf ball, some duct tape, right? That's how we're we got We're gonna make some You know, it was a very, building. like, um, like, a simplistic city mm -hmm. when we saw Veil vale last time. Whereas now, if we saw Veil, vale, I'm sure it would have been, like, more you know, they'd give it more detail. It wouldn't mm -hmm. look basic. Like, it wouldn't look like those people movies wouldn't be shadow where they say people. it's New York, but it's really Toronto, and nobody can tell the Like, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm sure that it would uh, go into more detail, which I'm super excited about, super excited about that. So Roman just straights up, like, beats up a guy and robs him. And what's funny yeah. is, mm -hmm. is that the reason why I'm bringing this up, because we are kind of talking about spoilers and what's in the preview, mm -hmm. but the reason why I'm bringing this up is because he actually, like, robs the guy for his concept art outfit, or at least that's what it seems yes. like, because he has a ponytail, which was in his concept art, and there, he takes a green jacket from this man and yes. gloves. So he's not wearing, like, also, what he wears in the also, show right his, now. his cane, he has a cane, but it's a different cane from the one we see in the show. It seems like, It's wooden, anyway. which is also the one he has yeah. in that so green. he's just, like, smacking yeah. people at the moment. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? He doesn't have an actual With weapon or anything. He's just, like, hitting people. But I, I like you know? that, like, he, little He's not Easter shooting egg dust there. bullets, maybe, yeah. I don't know. You know what I mean? So, it it yeah. really is just a wooden cane. But I really like that Easter egg for people that remember when they used to put the, uh... I guess they, they went back to it, putting the, uh, the, the concept, concept art at the art end of the, the episodes. episodes. Yeah, and so I thought that was nice. Here's uh, Roman's villain origin story, let's just call it. So, in Mistral, he was saying, everybody minds their own business, nobody helps each other, because he's like, oh, you know, why do these guys, they always cry for help, they always try to run away, like, nobody's gonna no help gonna you, help sir. You. Right? And so he says, he helped a woman who he thought was getting mugged, and he got, like, I guess it was implied that she was getting, like, you know, beat up by the attacker, and then he mm -hmm. got beat up a little bit as well, but, like, the guy ran away or whatever. And so then he got arrested for it, because the woman was like, oh yeah, this guy did this. And like that, you know, and then it was revealed, I guess, that she was a criminal and they were doing some deal gone wrong and she didn't want the police to know about their mm -hmm. deal gone wrong. So she was just like, oh yeah, it was this guy. Because if the police investigated who actually did yes. it, right, then that would be like, oh, but why are you two connected? Yeah. You guys are criminals. Oopsies, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's like Roman's current like villain origin. But we still don't know why he's on the streets and starving to begin with. Like what happened to your parents, sir? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Did they kick yeah. you out when you were 18? Are you an orphan? Like what's going on? So they're so mortified mm -hmm. with Roman. I don't know how I feel about that, though, being his, like, I was once a bright-eyed idealist. I helped a woman once, and then now, like, I'm an incel. Like, no, <laughs> like that's not how it It has is. that kind I of vibe that he he's very, like, he's very, like, yeah, exactly, like, 16-year-old. Not incel, because he's not <laughs> angry at women, but just angry at the world and deeply cynical. So, yeah, yeah. You and know and I, I hope said, that, I, I know kidding, what you mean. Okay. I know what you mean. I just hope that his character to development is sure. like, the world sucks, but look at my friend. Yeah. She's so tiny. I love her. I think given the fact there's like a 10 year age gap between them, it's going to be kind of like, like Roman is the family or the big brother that she never really had yeah. type of thing. And so it's going to be almost like, you know, we do crime, but at least now, like we know that like there are people, the family is the people that do crime with you. You know what I mean? It's not going to be like, oh, well, Neo is like pure and innocent and optimistic. Mm -hmm. So that means that there's hope for the world because Neo is also a criminal, yeah. right? So it's more like, like there are people that will have your back in the world. Like it's going to be more like that. Not like, like, look at this child. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, something like The Last of Us has like, oh, Ellie, like the yes. hope for humanity. Like yes. Neo's not the fucking hope for humanity. You know what I mean? Like, but it's going to be more like I can like, uh, you know, trust someone mm -hmm. like found mm -hmm. family. And mm -hmm. so if Roman also got kicked out by his parents or something, why he's on the street or is like an orphan, he can, you know, think of Neo as that like little sister that, you know, like, yeah, she'll cut a bitch, but also he wants to protect too so that would be nice right yeah that sort of found family yeah. type thing and now, so do you think that the rest of this book will be alternating 18 year old roman and eight year old neo or do you oh. think there'll be like an age up or do you think i think they'll grow up like a little okay. bit with maybe an epilogue okay. when they're both like in current timeline okay. but i think it'll basically like throughout the years you know sort of <laughs> thing like like the years that are relevant right and so i'm sure that they'll stay like eight and 18 then maybe they'll jump to 
14 and 24. Like, you know what I mean? They'll maybe. probably, like, you know, maybe a little I, time. Because my guess would be, like, a five-year jump. So we have, like, early teen Neo and a little more, like... Yeah. Because, like, my Because you guess... want to see a bit more of a capable yeah. Neo, right? Yeah. You don't want Neo to be eight years old and, Neo. like, hitting I, people. I've known, right? Neo, <laughs> I've known eight-year-olds to still fuck people maybe, up. Maybe, but yeah. Some wily eight-year-olds. Because, uh, as we see later on, if you want to continue with Roman's story... He eventually gets, oh, he He after, basically gets, like, okay, so, like, there's two there's two guys, okay, brick and mortar, and I'm just like, really? Okay, if there is something I hate about this book so far, I'm so sorry, E.C. Myers, like, come here, it probably wasn't you, sweetie, don't worry, right? We'll just blame Miles and Carrie for it, it'll be fine, I'm sure it was, but, like, why? You don't like the name? I hate all of the names. Because one of them's I hate, really tall I and hate, broad. I hate Neo's name the most. I will die on the hill. I'm going to rant like about it in a minute. Man. I'm so angry. Anyway, I'm, I'm mad about it. Um, But yeah, so Brick but and Mortar. Brick like one's big and white. It's like Bert and Ernie. Brick and Mortar, who Bert remind me of the two guys from Princess and the Popper. Oh. And maybe I'll give a picture to Noah. Okay. So uh, anyway, like Preminger's two little lack. They're called like, I don't even remember. Nick and Knack. That's what they're called. This has Nick and Knack energy. Okay. And I don't know how I feel about that. All right. And that's the highest form of insult that you know and are capable of. Anyway, and so, all things aside, so they work for Ms. Malachite, and they basically come in on Roman, like, smacking that man for his jacket, mm -hmm. right? And so he smacks one of them, and the other one runs away. But eventually they find him, bring him to Ms. Malachite. He steals his money from the one guy. Yeah, he steals his money, too. Like, he, he wants to live money. large, because he's homeless at this point, yeah. so he wants to he's live like, he large. He just wants noodles, okay? But then... You know, he goes see, to see Miss Malachite against After, his like, will. After, like, 50 guys shows up to his <laughs> hotel, it's like, you're coming with us. I guess. And so, uh, Miss Malachite, though, sees potential. She's just yeah. like, okay, well, you're not a man. And he's just like, I'm not a, like, I'm not a boy, I'm a man. And she's just like, no, you're not. <laughs> okay? But you have potential. I can help you. We can work with this, you know? Uh, and that's kind of interesting. Man. Because think about it. Neo you. went to Miss Malachite for information oh. about Cinder, right? Because oh. she was waiting for her at the thingy, right? And, when Cinder and went for information, right? seemed to favor Neo over yeah, Cinder. Yeah, over Cinder, right? So maybe they have like a previous working relationship. I kind of like that. Okay, so, yeah. oh, no. so that's basically the Roman half. It was like very, I really liked it. They captured mm -hmm. Roman's voice very mm -hmm. well. I love like, they were like, oh, if you steal from our patrons, that means the money can't go to Miss Malachite. And he's just like, you have a great grasp on socioeconomics, don't you? Like, it was I just... Can, I can hear it yeah, in his voice. Yeah, you can voice. hear Roman. Yeah. Like, I think that the POV mm -hmm. was great. Don't know how I feel about, like, I was, like, false charged. Okay, that's how I learned not to trust it. But I'm sure that there's more to him than that. Like, I'm sure I think that's where we there. start. That's where we start, but that's not change. the whole thing, right? Yes. You know? Yeah, obviously he's gonna change, but mm -hmm. also I'm sure that's not his whole backstory, because mm -hmm. it's like, how did you get on the street in the first place, bro? Right? There's all yes. of that stuff. So now the moment that you've been waiting for, because we've basically basically gone over so the roman part like nine out of ten loved it loved the concept art stuff like they captured his voice really yeah. well loved to see it and so that's loved like his the roman <laughs> oh god and so like that's like the roman half okay but well, let's talk about the neo okay half. okay okay i'm getting i'm getting this little scent of vinegar coming off of you and that you don't okay. like the neo portion i like the neo I portion i like the ideas yeah okay but i have one big grievance so here it is everyone the reason why you clicked on the video okay neo's true name not clickbait or whatever the fuck i call this okay her name is trivia vanille like trivia is in trivial fucking pursuit okay and i I get it. Like, I like the idea because it's like, oh, the goddess Diana, you know, as she gave the humans the thingy or something. Like, you because know what I mean? I read like, that. the three different roads. Like, yeah, like, but, like. Because I, I read that and I texted you immediately, like, trivial vanilla? But then no, you gave trivia it. Trivia vanilla. Trivia but still, vanilla. I hate it. Okay? I'm just not, I'm not even going to But they, But they also I gave hate... the explanation for. I don't care. And that, I, like, trivia means, I know, like, three, three different roads. roads. I get it, okay? Multiple, like, but that's kind I, of neat. I hate... You couldn't have done, like, a play on the try thing. Like, you couldn't have just made up a name. You know what I mean? Like, why couldn't they do, like... Triangle vanilla. No, like, that's basically how it is, right? Like, trivia is a word. Trivia is not a name. Like, I get it. 
Hey, hey, my name's Hunter. Don't go talking Hello. about names that are also <laughs> words here. I, I hate it. I'm so sorry, okay? And that doesn't mean that I'm like, guys, I hate the book. I hate Ruby. I'm quitting this. But like, I hate the name, okay? I'll just be honest, okay? Because I think that's important. See, I can criticize stuff too. I hate the fucking name, okay? And so I get it. I like, can't. It's I like the kind of clever, like, in terms of the roads thing, but I'm like, did you all need to do that? Like, wasn't there anything else? Like, you know what I mean? Couldn't they have just made something up with, like, that stuff? Like, you know, I thought that they were going to pronounce it, like, Trivy or something, right? Yeah. Instead of doing the A. Like, you know, like, you know, Ivy, I guess. Or, like, Trivy or something. You know Trixie. what I mean? Yeah, like, they, <laughs> maybe not that. But, like, they could have done anything <laughs> else. Because here's the thing that I hate. I hate when writers pick a name and they don't think about the consequences of their actions. And what I mean by that is the memes, okay? We're gonna have Neo whacking people over the Jeopardy music, okay? When she whacks that guy in volume, uh, in volume eight or whatever, okay? We're gonna have Trivial Pursuit theme music, okay? We're gonna have, like, fuck it. It's trivial gonna, Pursuit, somebody's Neo gonna Photoshop addiction. Neo's head over the guy from, like, Jeopardy, okay? So, like, you, like, I know that they must have known because there's a chapter in the book that's called Trivial Pursuit. So it's not like they didn't know. Like, I just, I don't like that. Because I feel like that maybe they were like, oh, we'll play into the memes. The memes will be so funny. The memes will, like, you know, bring up conversation I about the book. How, you know, they how were, like, long? strategy with the memes. You know what I mean? Like, the memes were part of the strategy, okay? But I don't like that. But I just, it's like if you were to name a character in this day and age Karen. Like, you are asking for it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. I feel like that this is the same thing. I'm like, guys, really? There was nothing? For, nothing? <laughs> for how long did they think they knew that Neo's real name was Trivia? They literally never. I refuse to believe this. Do you think that this was like, uh, like, they just couldn't think of it? I, I think would... that there was always this idea that Neo was not her real name. Because she has no last yeah. name, right? So yeah. it was kind of well, obvious. Neopolitan. Well, no. Neopolitan's the whole thing. Oh, really? It's not okay. Neopolitan, right? Okay, well, and so, mind. anyway. So I think, because in Volume 6, they say, and a candle's flame brought a brand new name, right? So that kind of implies she met Roman and she, like, remade her identity. Yes. So here's something that I'm kind of getting, like, from the chapter. So, like, name thing aside, the name thing's important for what I'm going to say, but name thing aside, it seems like that the whole thing is, is that, like, like, trivia is Neo, but she imagines this imaginary friend who can do whatever she mm -hmm. wants and be reckless and, you know, graceful and bouncy. And has pink and, and black brown hair. Yeah, or I guess she has pink and brown eyes. We don't know about yeah. the hair. It just said that she had pink hair, like yeah. a flash of pink hair. So it seems like that her appearance mm -hmm. currently is Neo, her imaginary friend, yeah. versus... Like, that that was always her type of thing, right? So it seems like later on in the book, it's going to be that she embraces the identity of, like, her imaginary friend. Okay. And yes. that imaginary friend basically manifests into who she wishes mm -hmm. she could be. Kind of like an alter ego or, like, a secret identity type of... Like, you know what I mean? It's almost like, like, yes. if, you know, if there are any miraculous fans in the house, okay? Like, you know, you have Adrian who has to be this perfect, you know, like, I go to my Chinese lesson after... After my fencing class, after I do my modeling gig, after I accept, you know, the Nobel Peace Prize. Like, that's Adrian's character, but as Cat Noir, he's like, flirting with the ladies, cat puns. Like, you know, like, you know, uh, just a bunch of, like, dark angst. Like, just a bunch of, like, you know, that sort of uh, character. Like, carefree. A bit, bit more reckless. Bit more carefree. More uh, to be himself, right? Like, he can make jokes. He doesn't need to be perfect, right? And so, perfect. perfect cat right? puns. And so, um, I feel like that we're basically kind of getting into, like, that idea mm -hmm. with Trivia becoming Neo because Neo is always the person that she kind of mm -hmm. wanted to be in the first place. Because basically this mm -hmm. chapter, it's like her and her imaginary friend, and it's very clear that at least part of the imaginary friend is her current, like, appearance, is current Neo. But what we don't know is how much of trivia is still left, like, in current Neo, and also, like, is there, there's supposed to be three roads, right? So, like, where is the other 
road because I have a couple things about this because it seems like that like currently trivia is the brown yeah. hair girl yeah. because that's her on the cover mm -hmm. and Hunter was like but her last name's vanilla so isn't she like the white part okay, like so the vanilla can... part but like her hair is brown so here's I know I know you have something hold on but here's what I'm thinking I'm thinking that Neo is the pink half trivia is the brown half and the white part is when she like kills somebody for the first time that's a little little psycho half if you want to call it that like you know the licks of white are mm -hmm. basically her you know little uh psychopath streak mm -hmm. if you want to call it that right and like when she got involved in the in the big crimes i guess you could say but you could also say that maybe the vanilla part that's like those little specks are what's left of vanilla and then the brown hair part like she just had brown hair and yes. that like you know what i mean but like that yes. could still be like another Ver like trivia could be the white part mm -hmm. i guess and like hunter was actually going to bring up i guess you can bring it up now bring so, up the thing um so i guess i can preface this by saying i've been reading a lot of ruby fan fiction for a very long time yeah and therefore i've seen a lot of people's different takes on neo mm -hmm. and one of the very prevalent one is that she has kind of whether or not you would call it disassociative identity disorder or multiple personalities or schizophrenia or yeah. just multiple aspects of her person but she has three yeah. she has brown eyes pink eyes and white eyes yeah so in the show you see brown eyes and pink eyes yeah and it's kind of like you typically see both of them and she switches her eyes yeah people tend to believe that that is like a, a half and half between kind of like primary driver seat yeah right? you but, know? but it's also like it's two so pink half is like the smart the brains of the operation whereas mm -hmm. brown half or either or is a kind of violent sociopathic kind yeah of, i guess then maybe neo because neo seems like a big trouble breaker and she like trouble, trouble breaker, bre rule breaker. Right, li literally Little, like, she does break a, <laughs> break some vases and stomps on them like very angry yeah and that seems to be that type whereas and the only evidence we have is for this is in volume two when neo's about to kill yang raven shows up and she's uh, like, oh, Neo's shit. Neo's aware that Raven can gut her like a fish, and her eyes briefly turn all white before yeah. she runs away. And we haven't seen that since, but to be yeah. fair, Neo hasn't really been... The only time where she was kind of near death was when, like, she fell, and, like, yeah. we didn't really see, yeah. you know. And she but, didn't know, like, that that was permadeath either, because so, they were yeah. floating around in the... Right? And so, so a lot of people believe that that is her, like, childlike innocence. Sure. Because she does have this kind of childlike quality in that dances around, and she has her parasol... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, well, so, there's more about that as yes. well. So my, sus so my suspicion is that what we see, the kind of trivia, is the white-eyed one. And my yes. only guess is that, like, honestly, I have no guess. Other <laughs> than, like, they don't describe her eyes, and she's very kind, and, like, her last name is Vanilla, and, yeah. like, the white of so the Yeah, so I eyes. would say, like, those white streaks mm -hmm. are maybe, like, the trivia yes. that is left over yes. kind of thing. But then that begs the question, like, what is the brown-haired half i guess and so what i'm assuming is it going to be the murder one or the brains of the I mean, operation i don't think or... that it's divided that like clear cut because that's this, just a fandom this idea that's very wears a pink frilly princess dress yes. wears white gloves and just causes a bit of mischief so mm -hmm. i would say that we have mischievous side and like maybe a bit more serious side mm -hmm. so like they say even that neo is graceful whereas trivia is slow and cautious like that's a comparison they make yeah. so it seems like acrobatic neo yeah, yeah. Is, that's the pink half oh, if i were to guess i would say that like when neo meets roman she will be more of the brown haired mm -hmm. How, like she will develop a brown hair half of some variety maybe again what you're saying mm -hmm. that more smarter side i'm trying right? to remember what they called them in different fan fictions they sometimes try to like try cocoa to name or all. chocolate oh, or dear. like i think they made her last name be um what's that italian ice cream well, gelato it, well it like, is neo, neo gelato I mean, anyway and so either way so yeah we don't know how it's all gonna be like divided up yet but i think that that is a good theory that like the the vanilla neo is her childhood like literally mm -hmm. like this childhood personality which kind of fits because vanilla is also supposed to mean like basic right you know what i mean yeah. People, and this is like literally like the self that doesn't get to do anything mm -hmm. that needs to just be quiet and stay in her room and go to sleep and stuff <laughs> right like can't be a normal kid and everything so yeah i would say that maybe like this is like again the pink hair is the acrobatic side whereas mm -hmm. the brown hair maybe like not even necessarily violent but maybe a bit more of the cunning maybe. side maybe brought out by roman in the maybe in the brown is the division. violent and then neo is like mischievous but like very streetwise and yeah. acrobatic and... i don't know we'll have to see because yeah. again 
pink frilly dress and white glove. Like, that doesn't really speak Neo to you. Maybe. Like, a little bit, because she does wear, you know, in some of her outfits, like They're this one, gloves. she does wear gloves, right? Yeah. So it seems like her outfit is, again, a combination of all those things, and so I see this as more like, you know, graceful, acrobatic, mischief, right? Whereas maybe the brown hair side <laughs> is, like, something a bit more, like, serious and grounded and a bit more, like, cunning and everything. Like, we'll see. And then, like, again, the vanilla would be her, like, childhood mm-hmm. self. And, like, in that moment of fear or she was just like, oh, shit, I fucked up, bro, you know? <laughs> and so, yeah, there's a lot in this chapter other than the fact that I hate her fucking name, right? And oh so let's goodness. talk about that. So, yeah, uh, Neo is an imaginary friend if we did not. I think we yes. said that before. But, mm-hmm. yeah, she's an imaginary Trivia's friend. imaginary friend. Yeah, exactly. And so Trivia is Neo, and Neo is fake for the time being, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, yeah, Neopolitan has mismatched uh, pink and brown eyes. So that also kind of implies that Neo is both halves already. Yeah. Two. Or maybe and it's so two maybe, and not three? Well, it's three, I don't know. It's three roads, so I guess we'll see. But Wait even maybe see. even this Neo is multifaceted too, because you have more of the graceful princess actions, and then you have, let's step on the grass and crush, or not the grass, let's step on the glass and crush it, right? So even this Neo could be multifaceted, so those could be like, the mm-hmm. three mm-hmm. are already just like, two's in Neo and one's in vanilla, I guess. Right? And so yeah, then we have mom and dad. So mom is named Caramel, which I'm like, okay. And the dad's called Jimmy, but I'm like, why? James? Like, if like, we're gonna have know. James again? Like, I feel like that it's probably some... Maybe I mean, like, there's two Mays. Like, Jim... Jimson or something? Jim- I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Jim Jimson here! <laughs> I hope to God, thank God no one at you ever gave a fake name, because if you were like Jim Jimson... I don't know. Noah, oh, tell man. us some names that would uh, be Jim related you know what i'm saying oh, like God. you know other Jim, than james Jimson. or something <laughs> um yeah so the mom's like uh-huh. honey we aren't mad at you for breaking the maze but the, like the dad's like definitely big pissed also he's a vale city councilman and i'm uh-huh. like well that's gonna end well you which, know what i mean yeah, which and he makes seems makes to make think, a lot of yeah. money seems yeah. like he's a little bit corrupt because he's like that money's a representation of what i do for our family right so that could also mean shady guys. Yeah. you know what i mean not just like getting money honestly but mm. also like i you know, I've wiped my hands in blood for this family, for that fucking vase, right? And so maybe, like, that's kind of the idea. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, they're uh, also kind of fucking assholes. Yeah. And, like, I get being frustrated and, like, concerned mm-hmm. about your kid, but, like, at this point, it's like, y'all probably should just accept, like, there's acceptance in the stages of great, because, like, <laughs> he basically, ha- like, holds her up by the ankles and after she breaks her. the vase, right? And said, if you're ever going to speak up for yourself, now's the time. Say something, anything, and we'll forget any of this happened and so it seems like that the dad could maybe have more of a multifaceted character because like that's clearly like abusive okay don't shake your kid Mm -hmm. obviously um but as i was reading it i was like oh i think that he's desperate to get her to speak so he's also like like say like you know say something Mm -hmm. anything and then we can just you know forget about this and so it's like that desperation has sort of manifested in like a toxic way in an abusive way but i doubt that the parents will change here because like you could have like a king triton type arc where like the whole point of king triton and the little mermaid is that yes he was toxic and yes he was kind of like abusive right not great communication stuff like that but he gets better by the end like that's the arc with him right and so looking at this dad I'm like well he could be in a king triton position but I don't think he'll get redemption I think he'll only get worse you know what I mean I think he'll get worse instead there's also a chapter named meet the parents I think so yeah that's not so I'm wondering if Roman's gonna meet them and I'm like "Ah, I don't know if they'll survive and so yeah like it seems like that she's always been mute and so I'm kind of glad that they're going that yeah. angle with it because I was really scared about like other alternatives. But it I, looks like Neo in her mind can talk. I'm sure that Neo has like internal monologue but right mm-hmm. now it seems like that she doesn't actually talk to them. She like uh like uh, basically gesticulates to them because yes, she points yes. at something to Neo and yes. she's like what are you doing? But it's right? Neo so, that talks to... Neo doesn't talk though. Doesn't Neo talk? No. She's just like go stop stop like you know what I mean? Like oh, they just kind of have sworn. their own no, I, I don't think that they talk to each other. They just have their own... Okay, right. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm mistaken. Yeah. yeah, so they don't talk to each okay. other. They just have their own language, yes. like, between each other. They just have other, an understanding. Right? And understand. so, yeah, like, I think the dad, like, you know what I mean? In another world, he could maybe get better 
better and not be toxic and like but stuff. Not but in not world. in this world. I don't think he's getting Dads better. Dads tend not to right? get better in Ruby. Exactly. They tend to die. <laughs> and so I feel like that, like even the mom is just like, you know, like Dr. Mazarin says we just need to give her space, right? Like, you know, but then she also gets kind of like, you know, like cold later. Because yeah, she's she like, was really Honey, warm. Honey, like, will yeah. you like talk to me? And then when Neo doesn't do what she wants, she's just like, okay, fine. We'll clean this up and go to sleep. So I feel like that both of them are like, mm -hmm. they're desperate, tox but they're toxic and their toxicity is putting and them in like also, abusive territory. They also don't you know? believe that, uh, like, they also don't believe that this Neo person is real. Well, she's not. In the way that... <laughs> But in the way that, like, trivia knows she's kind of real. Right. I mind. understand what you're saying. Yeah. It's like they think that she doesn't even have an imaginary friend. Mm -hmm. She just made somebody up to blame, also, right? was it trivia or Neo that knocked over the vase that well, shattered? Well, I mean, Cause if it, it was, was both. Like, you it, know but what if I mean? it was Neo. But Neo doesn't exist on <laughs> This is like in the fight club rules where it's like we don't know who is real or who is fake okay. but like she also creates illusions so she could she right. create an illusion of neo in theory but like but neo's young, semblance is pretty stationary yeah. too right so That's i think true. that she broke the vase but she imagined that neo broke the you know what i'm sure. saying yeah. so we don't know yet it, i mean it could be genuinely her semblance because there mm -hmm. is like she has an overactive imagination and that's the name of her semblance right so right. you could have made a semblance oh, but like does that. neo's neo okay. semblance are usually flat though like they don't move other other than when like she moves well i know? mean she changed the outside of the, the airship, airship. the airship is moving though that's you know true. what i mean it, she would need a doll or something right but even then the doll yes, doesn't so. move maybe what's happening is that she is using her semblance to change her appearance to be neo oh. and that's why she thinks that neo broke that'll the be face. interesting the second we get a different point of view character watching neo early yeah. on it, you could learn a little more of what's going on because like the parents didn't see neo right yeah. so in theory it could be her semblance but we don't know yet right and so uh basically this chapter ends with like okay well you know, clean up the mess, and she's just like, LOL, no, so she just stomps the glass, and there were some interesting things, you know, trivia, a friend who does something bad then leaves you to take the blame isn't a good friend, is she? And so that's kind of interesting, because I feel like that's probably, like, foreshadowing, or maybe. something, yeah. like, I don't know what, but that's maybe it's, like, that Roman, maybe it's gonna be, like, in the middle of the book, Roman does something, and he's like, well, fuck you, got mine, and then he leaves her, but then he feels bad, I, and he I comes also, back, I also like, like the characterization we get of Trivia, because she cuts her hand on the broken glass of the mm -hmm. vase, and then as she's bleeding from her hand, she just wipes it on the, <laughs> on the, the couch. white couch. Doesn't even, so she doesn't even, like, what I like is the dynamic is, like, it's almost like Pinky and the Brain-esque, like, one of them's like, we're gonna do this, and Trivia's just like, sure, and doesn't realize that Neo's yeah. gonna get her in I trouble. I mean, it's also, like, just kids, just kids I guess that things, kids are just you know? like that, too. Because, like, I think E.C. Myers has kids, and Eddie definitely Eddie has, has kids. I wonder if Eddie's <laughs> kids, like, rubbed their bloody... Well, I'm no, sure. probably not. But I'm like sure Eddie is a much better dad. And crayons yeah, and Lord shit. knows I did. You know did. what I mean? I did not do any of that. So you were also sorry, never. So were you ever I'm really a kid? I was very well behaved. I've <laughs> seen you as a child at Disney World, and you're like stone cold. Like yeah, you're there, like, at a I business was born meeting. like an old man. Like you know what I mean? Like I was born with the you mind were born of an old serious. person. I was born serious. So yeah, but yeah, that's just a kid thing to do too. Mm -hmm. Like not thinking I about the true. concept. Yeah. So I think that's pretty cool how they're like writing Neo very mm -hmm. like. Like, it, it makes sense for Vanilla an eight-year-old. Well, not even that, but it just makes sense but as yeah. an eight-year-old to But also to the do, fact right? that Neo's stomping on, like, angry, so she's stomping on yeah. the glass and grinding it under her foot. And they also say someone else would pick up the broken pieces later, which, like, that's not a metaphor, right? Of, like, Neo's broken sense of oh, self yeah. and shit. You know what I mean? Like, or, like I feel like... broken family, broken sense yeah, of self. Yeah, I feel like yeah. that there's a lot to unpack there, for sure. I feel like that that's just, like, probably a metaphor for her whole life, you mm -hmm. know? Probably okay. why things are like this now, so. She has to pick up the broken pieces so, after Roman dies. Exactly, exactly. Cinder betrays her. So yeah, that's our first impressions of the book. So how is your first impression? Well, I how, where like, do you think it's going now? I think it's, I think that like Roman is going to be tasked with doing something In and jail. that's going to cause the yeah. things. I do like our original idea of like Roman being involved in like robbery gone wrong. The parents yeah. are killed, but he's like, but I can't leave you. You're so cute. You know, like I Maybe. feel bad, right? And so 
so then he like you know but takes he also her. doesn't seem the type to do that so i Not feel like yet, i feel like they're gonna me. they're gonna be in a situation where neo and roman need each other mutually which yeah. is why i think that they could need to also do a, be a uh, ransom type yeah. situation right like it could be that mm -hmm. they are supposed to steal the kid to yeah. get ransom from the Vale city counselor which is the dad yeah right but then i don't know maybe that even goes wrong maybe like roman just takes neo and neo's just like but i don't want to go back there's, there's, <laughs> you know what i mean like that'd be I, pretty you're funny. my new dad so yeah like, like roman but then he learns that roman like they're gonna kill him and take all the ransom money for themselves so he kidnaps roman and tries to do well himself, he kidnaps or neo. neo and tries to do so it yeah i kind of like our kidnapping yeah. idea because that would make more sense than like robbing the parents <laughs> and killing them and like, you know, him yeah. taking Neo because he doesn't really seem to be the type yet. But it could also be, like... But I don't think they're going to kill the parents early on because of that meet the parents chapter. I mean, you could also have something where it's, like, like uh, the, the ransom thing, but then also the parents die. So you could kill yeah. the parents, and then Roman's thought process be like, well, you know, like, they must have other family that are mm -hmm. rich and would pay for her. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a little Anastasia yeah. thrown in there yeah. sort of thing. Like, I'm sure Neo has a grandmama that would pay for her safe return. Like, it could be that, too. So I really like, like, I like the idea mm -hmm. of them. I like the idea of the parents dying eventually. But if I had to rank them, I like kidnap Neo for ransom money. That doesn't work because mm -hmm. Neo doesn't want to go home. And, like, for other reasons. And then they just mutually, like, need each other yeah. for a while. Roman grows to, like, care about her mm -hmm. like a little sister. It's great. Then I also like they, you know, they kill the parents. Oops. Right? Like, you know what I mean? Oopsie. And then they take the kid. And maybe they take the kid with the intention of, well, you know, sure, we can find a family I, member somewhere that like, I, would I pay like, money I for like her. I like the right? idea that maybe it's a five-year jump, so we got a little bit of an older Roman who's still trying to get his, or like he's on his big break, rather it's a... Uh, his whatever. big crime break. Yeah, crime break, and it's a robbery. And then we see like 13-year-old Neo running away from her home, and then they somehow get entwined with one yeah. another, and it's just this big... Like, like, I kind of like want Roman to pick her up, though. Like, you know what I mean? Kind of like we talked about in the yeah. original video. Like, I want him to somehow, That's true. like, get her, That's I guess. That's true. I just like the idea of them, like, not wanting to be together, but are kind of forced to be together due to situations. I and think... them, them kind of learning to love one another and yeah. be good friends. I mean, I think Ransom family. money works for that, though. I think that could work, but I just, some, like, I wanted, to, I guess Ransom would work, too. Or what like... if, um, what if they sell the kid, the parents? Maybe. Because, like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't I don't want to get too dark maybe, or anything. Like, but maybe, like, Roman is this... sold, so he wants to save Neo oh. from being sold? Well, no, I don't think it's that. Because Roman's working for Malachi, right? Yeah, so I wonder if, like, a fourth idea could be that the parents are like, well, this child is useless to us, so let's just sell her. Because apparently that happens in Ruby. Like, mm -hmm. Cinder got sold, yeah. right? So Malachite could be like, oh, okay, well, you know, she has a semblance, so we'll just wait till she grows up, and then she'll uh, she'll belong be to us. Later. She'll be an uh, indentured servant to me, just to uh, pickpocket like pick people. Get into yeah, the tiny spaces. exactly, you know? And so they could, like, you know, they'll, they could have kinda, a different reason. Well, I also like the idea that, like, we're learning about where, like, Roman gets his outfit from i would love to see where neo gets like but we also don't know where roman hat comes from yeah so i'd like if there's some connection between neo and roman's hat which is why maybe neo has that extra attachment to it it reminds her of neo not only of roman but also of this special connection of how they got the hat together yeah and i also want to find out how she got her like little uh, umbrella mm -hmm. with her like pointy stick at the end I just, it would be kind of neat to, like, learn the kind of origins of these items yeah. that are iconic to these characters. But I guess we will see. In, like, October or whenever No, it's September 7th. It's only oh. a month away. Oh, I'm <laughs> excited. Like, oh, really? Okay. So, yeah, guys, that was the uh, origin of Neo. Uh, okay, that was our clickbait More title. Less, yeah. Yeah, and so, yeah, now it's we know that's not, that's not her name. Uh, this is her name now, and, uh, yeah, anyway. And so, I hope that y'all enjoyed our little video talking about the sample chapter. That's basically mm -hmm. all from I'm, us. I'm gonna go and update the, the Ruby wiki oh, for Neo. Oh, my God. I wonder if someone's already no, updated No, they it. can't, though, because there's spoilers. Oh. There's, oh, like, yeah. a spoiler, oh, uh, policy or something. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I hope that y'all enjoyed our little video talking about the sample chapters, and we will basically see y'all in the next one. I hope you enjoyed Thank you for attending Clarkson's Royal Court today, and we will see you <laughs> in the next <laughs> one. Bye! <laughs>